Nope. Nope. Hi everyone, I'm Raindrops. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning drop, welcome back. Um, as you can tell by the title, it's a hair video today. And I'm gonna be trying out for the first time. Um, first off, my hair loves activator gels, period. It loves glycerin. Um, I have never tried the S-Curl um, no drip formula. But I have done and I have a video on the S Curl Texturizer Gel. This is my one of my favorites. Um, but I've never done this one. And this is the No Drip Formula Curl Activator Moisturizer, Anti Frizz Formula, Paraben Free, Mineral Oil Free. Oil free. And it says it's for curls, waves, and natural hair. So I'm going to use this. And something that I've also never tried and it's been out for a couple of years now is the Cantu gels. This is the avocado hydrating gel. Has avocado oil and shea butter. It also is alcohol free. And it's free of parabens, mineral oils, and it has a flexible hole. So I'm gonna assume, because it says flexible hole, that it does not have the hold of a wet line. You guys know, um, wet line is my favorite gel styler to use. I use it, pair it with a lot of things. It elongates my curls for one and it gives it the hold that I need. So as of right at the moment, I'm gonna use these two and see if I get a perfect combo. Um, but if I don't like the way that it applies or it feels, I am going to go ahead and apply the wet line. I'm either going to apply the wet line over top of the gel or I'm just going to use it in place of that can too. So yeah, I'm going to wash my hair off camera. I just came from out of a protective style, so I haven't taken my braids down yet. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash and condition my hair off camera, come back on, and we can get into the video. Peace. Okay, guys, I'm back. My hair is washed and conditioned. Um, I'm trying to figure out now if I'm going to be able to directly come back uh, tomorrow and show you guys the, the results. It is 7 o'clock in the evening. Um... Before I started doing this and I talked to you guys, I had washed my six-year-old's hair and he was like, water was in his ear and I went to get a Q-tip, you know, to try to get it out and he started screaming. So I'm like, that's weird. Cleaned out the other one, he, he was fine. So I was lotioning him up after the shower and he was like, I put popcorn seeds in my ear last night so I wouldn't hear you talk. And I'm like, do what? He was like, yeah, I put the seed in there. He said, and it's in there and I can't get it out. So that was frustrating. This has all happened in the last four hours. He's been at the emergency room. Now, um, I have a makeup appointment to do someone's makeup tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna be waiting because the emergency room could not get the colonel out of his ear. Um, he was screaming and crying and they tried to use the tool with the tweezer. They tried to uh, suction it out and they couldn't get him to keep still, especially without him hurting. So now he's gonna have to see an ear specialist. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. Anyway, um, he's on his way back home. And yeah, so it's just a lot with this little one because it's always something that he's doing to hurt himself. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair like uh, normally I do. And my hair is damp. Um, I just put the t-shirt on. 
and then I'm going to apply the gel over top. And again, if I don't like the way the um, the Cantu gel feels over top of it, then I'm going to apply the wet line. So there is nothing in my hair. There's no leave-in or anything like that. Um, you guys know I don't use a leave-in, leave but the leave-in that I did use and I liked was the um, Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. But because this says moisturizer, I'm gonna use this alone. So it looks light, lightweight. Um, it's a little creamy. Um, I don't know what this smells like. It's not a bad smell. Um, it's not sweet or anything like that. Um, kind of smells like a clean fresh scent. Now as I'm putting this in, I mean it doesn't feel like very more, it, well maybe I shouldn't say moisturizing like I did with the Carefree. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of slip in it. But um, there is a, a little moisturization going on here. Let me spray the end. Again, definitely this is something that I would never use by itself because I don't see any definition. Um, I'm gonna spray a little water. And that's what I got with that in the water. I'm gonna go ahead. This is what the Cantu looks like. Um, it has a light smell as well. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of thick. I'm gonna take about this much. Uh, I'm trying y'all I'm trying to give this a chance but if you know your hair you know your hair and I don't see any like it's not puffy at the roots or anything and there is definition there And it also gave me some elongation, but let's see. I... Hmm. And I don't think I need to put like any more gel on it because I don't know if this would flake even though I don't have any white residue. Um, I'm not sure if this still would flake up, but it's not, it's not feeling like it would with the wet line. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking in the mirror and <laughs> I don't, like I said, I don't see any frizz. Well, because it says flexible hold as well, I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna get out of this. Okay, 
guys. So I waited off camera. I, I just waited like a minute or two to see what it was gonna do. And you can start to see a little frizz. So I'm gonna go ahead, got my wet line, and I'm gonna apply like a small amount because I don't want to get flakes because I know if you use wet line by itself, if you use too much, you will get flaking. So, but literally already shine that I just touched. And that is what I got with my wet line over top. So, yeah, I'm gonna use all three products and I'm gonna be light handed with the wet line so I don't get a bunch of flaking and we'll just see how this turns out. So please continue to watch, enjoy the music and I'll see you guys when you know all of this is done. Okay guys, so I finished the back part of my hair. And so, I guess you can hear it in my voice. So far, I, I just don't know. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Like, it says moisturizing. It's like, like I said, there is no slip. There is some moisture there, but not like I'm used to. And again, like with most products, I, the true test is, you know, when it dries. So I guess I'll be having to wait until tomorrow morning when I, you know, unband my hair to really let you guys know what I think. But um, right now, like my hair feels dry and you can clearly see that it's wet. <laughs> That's an oxymoron, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair up for you guys so you can see. And yeah, I'll come back to you in the morning when I take it. Definitely, since it's late, it's uh, 7.55 p.m., so I'm gonna go ahead and sit under my hooded dryer and then band my hair, and I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. Peace. Okay, y'all, really quick, um, before I band my hair. My hair is completely dry, and this is what I meant when I was saying that that can too wasn't gonna give me, you know, much of, you know, hold. And I tried to use um, less than I normally would with the wet line because I know that wet line can flake, like I said. So I just want you guys to see it. 
Um, I didn't get, you know, much shrinkage um, when I dried it, but like my hair, the light is hitting here. It looks shiny here, but oh my God. Where? Where, Sway? Where is the shine? Like, my hair feels dry. There's, um, the crazy part is that, you know how wet line leaves a hard ass cast is crunchy, um, especially old wet line, but, um, my hair is not crunchy. There's really no cast, but, like where is my shine where is the definition like because i really want you guys to see like and it, it literally dried how i how it was set so yeah i'm gonna have to put some oil on it so i can get some shine but <laughs> i don't um, go back and look at the video of the Camille Rose or the X Curl Texturizer or even the Carefree Curl, the gold, Carefree Curl Gold. Um, sorry if you can hear the boys, but um, totally different expressions on my face, um, the way I reacted to it, how it came out. So, yeah, this, I, I don't know. This is, um, hey, hey, this is not going to be, uh, a perfect combo for me. Um, but I am going to go ahead, you guys are going to say, I'm going to go ahead and upload the video anyway, because I, I wanted you guys to see, like, all the time, every product doesn't work for everyone's hair. It doesn't turn out, but if you use the S-Curl texture, I uh, mean, um, okay. If you use the instant um, instant activator and it worked on your hair, I'm happy for you. But um, this is not what I like. But I'm gonna go ahead and you know band it and see you know what it's like in the morning. So um, also to update you guys, my baby did come back from the emergency room, and they were not able to get that kernel out of his ear they he wouldn't keep still it was really hurting him he was crying he was upset my husband said they tried to use like the long pair of tweezers or whatever to get it out um they were hurting him so they didn't want to puncture his eardrum or anything like that so then they tried the um like the suction the vacuum that didn't work um and they didn't want to continue to mess with him being that he was it was painful for him and because he wouldn't keep still they didn't want to you know continue to try to do what they were doing and then accidentally you know puncture his eardrum so now we have to wait for the doctor's office to open up in the morning not our doctor his pediatrician but um they called the specialist gave us the number to a specialist um we have to wait until the office opens up so i'm like again my baby is going to be in here asleep with that kernel stuck in his ear all night this is night two because like i said the first night he didn't last night he did not mention that he did that until today so yeah that is the update right now um with that but um what i can say is though my hair smells amazing like um it's not a sweet smell but it smells so good as I was blow drying. I sat under the hooded dryer for probably about 20 minutes. Um, and it was just too hot. Um, I do have adjustable settings on it. but So I handheld dried it. And like I, I'm, I'm touching it because I'm, I can't even think like what it feels like. It's, it's like after you have a good wash and go. And by that fifth day. It doesn't feel as moisturized, you know, as it did the first couple of days. So, it is what it is, but I'll be back tomorrow and hopefully it looks like something, you know, all stretched. Good morning, everyone. It's very, very early the next morning. It's like 6.15, 6.20. 
and I have to hurry up and get out of here. But yeah, this is how I banded my hair. So let's get this takedown going. These are my results. <laughs> um, so, um, there is some shine. I did not spray anything on it. I initially thought I was going to get up and spray my oil, but um, I didn't just spray anything. It has a shine. My hair has this weird feeling like. Um, it's it's soft but it's not as soft as my other washing goes it has like this film on my hair it feels like um i have a lot of body as you can see um definition um would i consider this a perfect combo hmm. no not really but it is a workable combo so, um, I have body fullness, I don't have any flakes, and I have definition. So, um, all in all, I will use, continue to use these products, and I'll probably use them the way that I paired them up. So, um, thank you for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys, you know, like this video. I hope that. Um, this is something that you may want to try because it may do something completely different for your hair. Um, but like I said, all in all, this is not a bad wash and go. I don't know um, how many days I'm going to get, but it's full. It's um, like I said, I don't have any flakes. So, yeah, I can definitely work with this. So um, on your way out, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell. Hit the like button, leave a comment, share this video, and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Peace.